Today I'll show you how to make a 3D image gallery on your Elementor website. So when you scroll down, you can see the images are coming from the back to front one after another and you can also see the reverse when you scroll up and the background behind is also changing according to the current image. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make that. Alright, so here I will start everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready-made template, you can also get it from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get two different versions, the default version and also this tunnel version. And all of this you will get both in the container and the old section column version. Okay, if you also don't want this ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So here, first of all, we need to click on this plus icon and from here, create a new container. And first of all, let's make it to full width and full height. So make it to 100 VH. And from here, let's also set a dark background color. And let's also remove this default padding. So make it to zero. Now inside that, we also need to take an another container. So click on this plus icon and drag a container to here. Also for this one, let's make it to full width and height. Now inside this, we need to take our images. So if you look at this, here you can see with each of these images, we have an heading and subheading. So we need to wrap each of these items inside a separate container. So from here, let's take a new container. And first of all, let's give it a width. And inside that, let's add our content. So let's try again heading widget change this text from here let's change the typography and also change this color and i just want to duplicate this and create a subheading so first change this text and as this is an subheading so i want to just reduce its font size and font weight a little bit and finally let's add our image if we open our navigator here we can see this, we just need to drag it inside our this container. Okay, and let's upload an image. From the style, let's also give an fixed height. Because in case if you upload a long image, that will not mess up the layout. And also make sure to keep this object fit to cover to maintain the aspect ratio of this image. Let's reduce the gaps between these items. So go to this parent container and make the gap to zero to place the item at the middle here. Let's make it to center. And to make it work, we also need to make its position to the absolute from the top, make it to 50%. Right now, just keep it like that. And here, this paragraph looks too close of this image. So let's add some spacing with that. Also, here you can see this image go outside of the container. So go to our this parent container and make sure to keep the overflow to the hidden. Perfect. Right now we can just duplicate our this container multiple times to create our other items. But before duplicating, I want to check it for our other devices. Because if I duplicate first and then do the responsive work, then we need to do the responsive work again for our duplicated content. Okay, so for tablet, it looks okay. We don't have to do anything. For mobile, I think we need to reduce its width and also the height of this image. Okay, looks good. Now go back to the desktop. Now we can duplicate our this container. So let's just duplicate this. And for this image, I want to change this to this one. Also the heading and the subheading and by following this let's create our other items so after adding all of these containers finally we need to add some classes with our containers so first go to our this container and add the class mdw image gallery 3d and then with this container let's add mdw image gallery inner and lastly we need to add some custom code so let's add an html widget and drag it to here right before our this container and paste this code snippet don't worry i will give all of this code snippet to my website and also give the website link to my description 
So from here, we just need to copy and paste that code. Okay, right now, if we just publish this and from the preview, we can see this effect is perfectly working and the background is also changing. If we also see it from the tablet, it looks good. And on mobile, you can see instead of this effect, we keep this minimal layout because I can see when we have this effect on mobile, it makes the page too much laggy and unusable for the user. So I think here it's better to keep it minimal rather than that performance issues. And this same problem also happens for the Safari browser. So also for Safari, I specifically made this minimal layout. And rather than that, for all other browsers, it looks really cool. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.